Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Ace Magic laptop, AX15 model. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your storage, your solid state drive. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. So you have four screws along the bottom, two screws in the middle, four more screws on top, now keep in mind, on one of these screws in the corner, there was a sticker on it uh, to tell them if you've gained entry to the computer or not. So just keep that in mind. If you see any stickers like that on various screws inside the computer, it could void part or all of your warranty. So just keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these screws. Another thing to mention is not all screws are the same size. As you can see here, most of these screws were the small screw there, but those two hinge corner ones were the long screws. So keep that in mind when you're going into a computer, keep your screws separate, make sure you know where they go. So after removing all these screws, I'm gonna take my small flat metal pry tool. I'm gonna to go across the seam of the bottom case and carefully take it up from the rest of the computer. Oop, that comes up very easily actually. And as you can see, there's nothing on the, on the bottom. It's, it's just a bottom panel. But that came up very, very easily. It, it doesn't seem like there's any clips or anything holding it down other than those screws. After you're inside, this is what you're looking at for the inside of the computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a list of tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Also, in the description under that link, I will have another link. It'll be a list to all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer if you're looking to replace them or upgrade them. Now the first thing I do before touching anything in a computer is I'll either remove or at least unplug my battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right down here. Uh, there's a piece of black tape going across here, so I'm going to take that up. Most likely that's where the battery is, is plugged in somewhere in there. So I'm going to take that up very carefully because I don't want to rip out anything that it's connected to. So nice and slow. See, it's on some wires there, so I'm going to hold those wires down while I slowly remove that piece of tape. I don't want it pulling anything up. And then I'm gonna put this tape back down exactly where I found it when I'm done working on my computer. So it looks like the battery is held down by one, two, three, four screws. Maybe there's one in here. Let me take off this piece of tape as well. Yep, so there's one more screw there. Okay, so I'll put that carefully to the side. I'm gonna put that tape back after I'm done. And then after those five screws, it plugs into the motherboard right there. Looks like it came out a little. Uh, maybe it's a little loose or maybe I made it a little loose by taking that tape out. So I'm gonna take a small, flat, plastic pry tool and I'm gonna push it from each side of that clip, of that plug, until it comes out of that port. It's a little tight in there, but there. So that's how I unplug my battery. We want to avoid pulling on wires anywhere in a computer, if at all possible, just manipulate the plug. But when you pull on wires, sometimes you can pull the wire right out of that plug. And if you want to remove the battery, I'll go ahead and take out these five screws here. Now the battery should just come right up. And there it is. Your solid state drive is right here. You have a single M.2 port for a 2280 size solid state drive. The one that comes in this computer looks like 512 gigabyte. Below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts, I will try to have a couple different options for solid state drives. If you're looking to just replace this one, you don't wanna spend more than you have to, I'll have a replacement 512 gigabyte solid state drive. If you're looking to upgrade a little bit, I'll have a terabyte solid state drive in that list. 
In order to get that out, there's a piece of tape right here, so we'll just go ahead and gently take that off. Put that off to the side. And there's a single screw down here. You undo that single screw. That solid state drive releases and then you can slide it very easily out of that port. To install one, you would just slide it back into that port. Make sure it's nice and flush and straight there. Then you would bring that screw back over, hold this down, and carefully screw that back in and that would secure it in place. I'm also going to make sure to put this piece of tape down here because it looks like it holds down the LCD cable away from that threading for that screw so that it doesn't pinch. So we'll do that. And I guess the last thing to mention about this operation, if you are replacing or upgrading your solid state drive, you most likely will need to install an operating system onto the new one after you install it. Above, as well as below in the description, I will have a video tutorial showing you how to install Windows 11 onto an Ace Magic computer. But that's the video, how to replace or upgrade your solid state drive in an AX15. Keep in mind that upgrading your solid state drive and your RAM are probably the easiest and cheapest ways of upgrading your computer to get more performance, more speed out of it. If you want, there'll be a video link below in the description. I'll also include it as the end video once this one's done. It'll be basically the same video but on your RAM instead of your solid state drive. Please remember to like and share if this was helpful, if you think it can help someone else, and feel free to subscribe subscribe if you enjoy DIY tutorials like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any future computer questions you may have, I do try to answer all questions across my channel at least a couple times a day. So thanks so much for watching, I look forward to seeing you on my next video.